Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about a pattern program that is how we can print stars in this shape. So let's get started with the program. First in the python file we'll ask the user to enter the input. That is because here we are writing a general program which will give output for any number of rows. If you enter number of rows as 5, then you will get the output for 5 number of rows. If you enter number of output as 10, then you will get output for that also. So to take the input from the user, first we need to take one variable which will hold the user entered input. And here I will take my variable name as n. And here I will take input function to get the input from the user. Here I will write a message. That is enter the number of rows which will display on the output screen. And in the python this input function will take input as the string value. That is now if I enter the number of rows as 5 it will treat that as the string value and it will store that string phi in variable n. But here we don't want that. We want integer value because number of rows is an integer value. So I need to convert this input to integer. So I'll use int function here. Alright. Next. Here in our output, we can see stars in different row and column. We want to print stars in different row and column. Here we can see these are the rows, these are the columns, right? So to print stars in different row and column, we are using nested for loop that is for loop within the for loop. And in the nested for loop, there will be a outer for loop and inner for loop. And here the outer for loop is for loop for row and the inner for loop is for loop for column that is nothing but first we'll write the for loop for rows and inside that we'll write the for loop for column that's because here we print stars like this we in the row 0 we'll check for column 0 column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 Next, after printing star in row 0, we'll go to the next line and we'll check for row 1 and column 0, column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4. Again, we'll go to the next line and in the row 2, we'll check for column 0, column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4. That's why first we'll write the for loop for row. Inside that, we'll write the for loop for column. Okay. So first, I need to write the for loop for row. So here for here I need to take any variable. So I'll take my variable name as row in range. Here I'm using range function and range function will give sequence of numbers. And here I want that. That's why I'm using range function here. And in the range I need to mention the start and end value. That is how many rows you want in your output. Okay, this is the output when you enter the input as 5 and here we can see it contains 5 rows 1 2 3 4 5 and here i'll take the index from 0 so this will be 0 through first second third and fourth okay so here i'll mention range as 0 to n because if i enter the number of rows as 5 so n will store that 5 so n value become 5. So now range will become 0 to 5. So it will give output as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And inside this we will take the for loop for column. So here I will take variable name as call. That is for column in range. Here also we will use range function. Here also I need to mention the start and end value. And here we can see column value is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here also I will start the index from 0. So, it, so when n is equal to 5, I want 5 column. Okay. So here also I will mention the range as 0 to n. 
suppose if you enter the number of rows as 5 then n value become 5 so it will give 0 to n that is 0 to 5 row that is 0 1 2 3 4 rows and column also same it will give output 0 1 2 3 4 that here we can see 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 okay so next and here we need to take if else conditional statement that's because we want to print star in some particular pattern that's why here we are taking conditional statement that is if else conditional statement and here after if keyword i need to mention the condition that is in which row and column you want to print star so for that we'll divide our output into three parts okay first part is this i want to print stars here okay this is at row 0 right so i want to print star at row 0 so that's my first condition so i'll check whether row is equal to equal to 0 if it is true i want to print star okay next i'll take logical or operator next we'll go for the next condition okay okay so we wrote the condition for this star now we'll write the condition for these stars okay here we want to print star this is at column 4 right so i want to print star at column 4 so i'll check whether column is equal to equal to n minus 1 why because here we are writing general program and we want to print stars at the last column here n value is 5 that's why we are printing star at last column that is fourth column but while writing generally this is the n minus one place this is the n minus two place this is the n minus three place okay so we need to write n minus one because here we took the index from zero that's why the last column is n minus one okay so i need to mention n minus one not four okay okay here we use logical or operator and in the case of logical or operator if any one of the condition is true it will give output as true here we can see two condition row is equal to zero and column is equal to equal to n minus one if any one of this condition is true i want to print star that's why here i mentioned logical or okay next we need to write the another condition to print these stars okay we want to print these stars now and here we can see this star is at row 0 column 0 this is at row 1 column 1 this is at row 2 column 2 this is at row 3 column 3 this is at row 4 column 4 right so whenever row is equal to equal to column i want to print star because in all this case row is equal to equal to column right so my next condition is row is equal to equal to column if it is true then i want to print star okay these are my three condition and here you may think some of the stars are repeating like this star this star and this star right don't worry it won't affect the output because here we use the logical or operator and this logical or has a property called as short circuit evaluation so because of that property it won't affect the output and how it won't affect that i'll explain you later okay so for now if this condition become true then i want to print star so i'll use print function star i want to print star and end is equal to empty string okay in the print function by default end value will be slash n okay okay if we didn't mention end here after printing this star it will go to the next line uh, that is nothing but after printing this star control goes to the next line but here we don't want that we want control to be in the same line to print this star right so we need to change this end value by default in print function end value will be slash n but i don't want that that's why i'm changing the end value to empty string okay next here if this condition become false then i want to print space so 
so here i'll mention end is equal to space because same reason i want control to be in the same line and here we can see if uh, that condition become false like this here in this place i want to print space here right for this we wrote else condition next in the first for loop that is the for loop for row i am writing the print function and here i am not mentioning end because i am writing this print function for new line that is uh, nothing but here after printing stars in one row okay i want to go to the next line right for the next row i want a new line so that's why here i mentioned this print function that to in the first for loop so after printing one row it will execute this instruction so control goes to the next line and it will print remaining star in the next line okay so now we are done with the code so we need to save this and run this so first a message is displayed on the output screen that is enter the number of rows i'll enter 6 and here we can see the output if i enter the rows as 10 so here we can see the output now we'll see how this code will work and how that short circuit evaluation property will apply on this program right okay uh, while writing the condition we divided our output into three parts and we divided like this okay this is the first part that is the stars in the blue and this is the second star that is stars in the pink and this is the third part that is stars in the green color but here we can see this star and this star and this stars are repeating right and as i said it won't affect the output because of the short circuit evaluation property now we'll see how that short circuit evaluation property works here okay so first uh, here uh, we'll enter the number of rows as 5 so here range will be from 0 to n that is 0 to 5 so we'll get uh, row range as like this 0 1 2 3 4 and in the column also we use the same range so we'll get output like this 0 1 2 3 4 okay okay next uh, control goes to the if body okay at the beginning row value will be 0 and column value will be 0 right so first here it will check whether row is equal to equal to 0 yes it is true right row value is 0 so what it will do is control won't check the next condition it will directly go to the if body and it will print star there it is because logical or has the property called as short circuit evaluation so in the logical or if the first case is true then it won't check for the next condition it will directly go to if body and it will print star so because of that it won't check this and this condition even though this condition also true because row value is zero column value is zero so row is equal to equal to column but it won't check that condition only it will check the first condition if it is true then it will directly go to the if body and it will print star okay if this condition become false then it will check the next condition okay here we used python 3.5.1 but if you are using python 2 and if you try to run this code you may get errors because in the python 2 print is not a function it is just a statement but here in python 3 it is a function so if you are using python 2 then you need to write code like this so till condition it is same here print is not a function so we need to write like this and here we can't use end instead of that to keep the control in the same line we need to use the comma at the end of the statement okay here we can see print star end is equal to empty string so here uh, so here we can see instead of end we used comma and here also in python 3 we wrote end is equal to space here instead of that we need to write space and comma and this print is for new line so if i save this and run this if i enter the number of rows as 4 and here we can see the output okay and in some cases you may not get output because of the font style 
if you go to the options and configure ideally we can see the font styles so be careful about that okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll meet in next class till then take care